So this part here, what I'm going to do is to look at how we incorporate the tree crown information into the Landsat grid and the NDVI point. So if I click on the tree crowns here, what you'll see is if I zoom in slightly closer to the edges, that the tree crowns don't actually go all the way to the edge of the, the Landsat grid. Now this would be a bit of a problem if we're looking at calculating the percentage of each grid cell that's covered by vegetation. So for example, in, in the upper left hand corner grid, there's only a small portion of, the, of that grid cell that's covered by vegetation. And that's not because there's a lack of vegetation in the rest of that grid cell, but because the analysis of vegetation density didn't go that far. So if we were to include that cell, we might say there was only 10% vegetation in that cell, but that would be erroneous. So what we need to do is to remove these from the analysis. So I'm going to go back to zoom to zooming to that layer. And I know that this only happens right around the edges. And I zoom in and check that, make sure that that's correct. So this, this effect is just happening right around my edge cells here. Okay, so if I zoom to that layer, what I now want to do is turn off the tree crowns and I'm going to delete these, the NDVI points and the grid cells that occur around the edge here. So to do this, I'm going to first of all go up to the editor toolbar and if this isn't available for you just yet, what you need to do is to right click anywhere in the toolbar area and then turn on the editor toolbar here. So once I've got that activated, I click on editor and start editing. Okay, it's going to give me an option of, of what I'd like, what's available to be edited, and I'm, and I'm fine with that, so I'll just click OK. And continue with this one also. OK, so just make this a little bit larger here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, now you can see the, that my cursor is now this little black arrow. What I'm going to do now is to click and drag out and select all of the little cells and dots in that first row there. And I'm now going to do the same by using the control key to click and drag out and select all of the, sorry, holding the shift key, click and drag out to select all of those along the right hand side do the same along the bottom and on the left hand side. And once I've done that all I need to do is click delete on my keyboard and that will be removed. And as I'm not zoomed in very well here it's a little bit difficult for me to see so you should be able to do this a lot easier um, on your computer when you're zoomed into the correct level. So there we go, I've just removed one, one row and column of data around each side there. So now if I click on tree crowns, they should actually be larger all the way around the data set here and that's exactly what I want because now I'm only going to analyse those cells that lie within the border of the tree crowns. So to finish that I'll just click on editor and stop editing and it'll ask me if I would like to save my edits and I click OK or yes for that. And that's, that's all we need to do for that step. Just again, just double check, make sure that you don't have any outlying cells or NDVI points.